Hey guys, I uh, just want to make a quick video uh, on using the parallelogram law to determine the resultant force. Okay, so what we have here is a barge is being pulled by two horizontal forces. So this is from the top view of 75,000 newtons and, and 50,000 newtons at an angle of 60 degrees. Okay, so if we were to use the parallelogram law, we know that to draw the parallelogram, both forces must start out from the same point and it will move in this particular direction, it will move towards the left, right? Right. Okay. So um, to start off, our first point will we need to make sure this is the most um, important point for us to decide because sometimes if you start, most people start in the center. If you start at the center, you end up your parallelogram law may end up outside the piece of paper, right? So you gotta start a bit to the right and somewhere in the center because you know uh, this seventy-five thousand a bit goes a little bit up and fifty thousand goes a bit down. So you gotta leave some space in for it to go up and down. And then since the forces move to the left, so we got to start from the right, okay? So which is why you can see this red dot here. So this is where we start off, okay? So uh, first thing, first, uh, scale use will be 1 cm to represent 10,000 newtons. So roughly because your piece of paper roughly is about 10 or 15 cm long, so you don't want to have something too small or too big such that you fall out of the paper, okay? We want to try to maximize it. So, you know, uh, actually the bigger it is, the more accurate it is, but we don't want to make it too big because if something that's too big if it falls out of the paper you won't be able to uh, calculate uh, the resultant force all right okay so uh, this will be an optimum scale of 10 1 cm to represent 10,000 newtons you can see so here for 75,000 newtons we have 7.5 cm right so first thing we just put a ruler roughly in this direction doesn't matter whether is it northwest, northeast, no. Because we know it's going to the left up. Okay, so we roughly move in this direction. So we measure 7.5 cm against here. And we just draw a line, 7.5 cm. Draw one arrow and that's it. Okay, so that's our first step. Okay, then after that, uh, this 60 degrees. Well, how do we draw that? So we put our protractor and boom. Okay, you can see put our protractor here. Measure of 60. And then we just draw a line here. And this line will be... You guessed it, since it's 50,000 newtons, that would be 50 centimeters, so 50 cm. And after that, we were to remove the ruler. And okay, how do we close up the parallelogram? Okay, I'm going to show you a quick tactic to actually draw a parallelogram. Don't need to use any set squares or anything. You only need two things, a ruler and a protractor. So if, because if this is 60 degrees, this angle will be... You guessed it, it's 120 degrees. How long do I draw it? Doesn't really matter, you just draw it all the way. And then after that, uh, just move your protractor all the way to the other end, draw again 120 degrees because corresponding angle to this will be 60, will be 120. And then you just draw that line and where it intercepts, you will see that is formed. That actually forms a parallelogram. So resultant force will basically be where you start off all the way to where it ends and you just draw it. And for resultant force, we just represent it by having two arrows. So you can see the two forces of 75,000 and 50,000 newtons, we represent it by using one arrow and the resultant force two arrows okay and how long would that resultant force be so if you were to use a ruler to measure again that would be about 10.9 cm so if you convert back 10.9 cm that will be yep hundred and nine thousand newtons okay and finally what's the direction of the resultant force okay so for to measure direction we don't say that it's west because we don't know whether upwards is not. They didn't really tell you that, right? So anyway, it's not exactly west also. You can see there's a certain angle. It's not perfectly horizontal. So our direction, you will always have to measure it with respect to one of the forces, either the 75,000 or the 50,000. So maybe to for, for, for simplicity, we just use the first force, which is 75,000. Put a protractor here and you can read off this angle. What is it? This is about 23 degrees and you can see as it goes down, which direction is this? Okay, it is actually anti-clockwise, right? So we, we don't say down now, we say anti-clockwise because this goes in this particular direction. Okay, so hope you uh, found this video helpful. Once again, that's the parallelogram law of finding the resultant of two forces. Okay, alright, see you guys soon.